Something that I get into a lot is this idea of workflow and process. And I think it's so important because of the fact that when it's off, it costs you emotional peace of mind. It costs you money. Uh, and it gets in the way of the quality of the work. And like the one thing I'm noticing right now is the stuff that I'm working on and the contract gig that I'm working on. Everything is moving so unbelievably fast that all the work is has to be reprinted or resubmitted to the printers all the time because the idea is like they're working super fast. So inevitably things go have mistakes, things aren't resolved, things aren't official, officially approved, stuff like that. And what ends up happening is that the amount of time it takes to redo to do it right is longer than it ever would have taken in the first place. When you're when you're working on your projects, give them enough time to do what needs to be done. You know, and the other thing is like pay attention to the results. If you routinely have errors, then either you're going too fast, and you're going probably going too fast anyway. Because like if you have no workflow, you're always going too fast because you just need that much more time to catch any mistake. But if you're repeatedly having mistakes go through, you're repeatedly having to reprint things, you got to stop and ask yourself, what are you doing wrong? And can it be fixed? Because the thing is that everything can be fixed. You can implement process in a way that supports your work. I think a lot of the times creatives are very resistant to workflow, project management type process stuff because it's seen as like... Um, almost like bean counter territory. But the thing is, is that when you have the process built up around you to make sure that mistakes don't happen, to do the due diligence, all of that stuff, it gives you peace of mind. I find that you can make the work more creative from the peace of mind that you can get by dealing with the mistakes and the problems that are happening. So that this one's really short because like, what are we gonna what else is there to say um actually let's make this one tactical and actionable here is a couple of things that you can think about in order to cut down on mistakes uh one never type in a file try to always get the content from the client ask them if they've had someone proofread it and then copy and paste from it and it was super interesting I was actually talking to someone today who very specifically wanted information. It was like, it's got to be typed up. It's got to be in something I can cut and paste it from. Uh, and that was smart. That was like good thinking because you cut down on the number of errors that you can make. And then what that allows you to do is that allows you to proof work on your own better because once the thing is done, you can print it out or look at a PDF but you can have the original document and you can compare the two. Uh, a thing that they did in publishing that I didn't appreciate at the time, but I've come to appreciate is have a document of any proper name, foreign language uh, word, you know, like cliche is a foreign language, right? Uh, deja vu uh, or any industry specific jargon. Pull all that stuff from the content, send it to the client and just be like, is all of this stuff correct? Because then you can proof the work better because you can look at, oh, like this is a strange word and you can compare it to this approved list. That's pre-production stuff. The whole idea that process is going to impede your creativity is based on this idea that you're some wild animal. But the fact of the matter is, you're a person who works in an office and sits down at a fucking computer all day. Like, you're creative, but you're not that... It's not like you're this wild, impulsive... You're not William Burroughs uh, zonked out of your mind on heroin typing mindlessly and anything might mess that up. You know what I mean? Like, you're a normal human being doing knowledge work and you can support that work. So that's like two really simple things. And let's add one more. Instruct your clients not to proofread the stuff you send them, but to proof the stuff you send them. To proof it is to look for things beyond typos because when they proofread it, they're reading it. And if there's no typos, then they're like, oh, there's no typos. 
but they might not notice an actual mistake in the content unless it pops in their head like, oh, that date is wrong. So tell them like, take this thing, print it out or open it side by side with um, approved copy and then compare the two. Uh, have that list of proper names, compare those. Maybe you give it to the events coordinator or sponsorship person, like it's a flyer. Bring it to the sponsorship person and be like, make sure all the logos are here and that they're the most up-to-date logos. These are things that will make your projects have less likely to have mistakes at the end. They're also gonna be things where your clients are gonna love you. Like, I remember trying to convince a friend of mine, a printer, to hire a full-time proofreader. And they, they didn't believe that it was like a worthwhile thing. And I just thought, think of the marketing potential of you being the printer who catches all the mistakes instead of goes, yeah, you signed off on the proof. Anyway, those are some thoughts, of, some continued thoughts about quality control, project management, you know, creativity is kind of bullshit. You're just working and, uh, and you want to do the best work possible so you implement the right system so that you can do that. All right, thank you.